Good afternoon. I'm Paulette Foglio, the principal of PS99, and I am very happy that you are here today for our first parent-teacher conference. With me today, and I'd like to introduce, are my two assistant principals, Ada Trujillo. Welcome, everyone. And Nick Saforza. Hello, everybody. You know, today you're going to be learning about what your child is going to be doing all year. You're meeting your child's teacher, and I'm sure the session's gonna be very informative. So please feel free to ask any questions that you might have, and come back many times throughout the course of the year. There'll be many opportunities for you to come into the school and be part of the school community. Uh, we're going to have another parent-teacher conference on the 15th of November, and then again in March, March the 14th, and then in May, May the 15th, from 4.30 to 7.30, just like you're doing today, you can come in and meet the teacher if you feel you need to. It's not a mandatory parent-teacher conference. There'll be many special events that you can come and enjoy and see your child perform. So please read the monthly calendar, which you should get by the first of each month, which will inform you of, of the special events for that month. Emergency cards are the blue cards that your child brought home on the first day of school. Those cards are very important to us. You have to complete all of the cards and make sure that they're current. We need many other contacts on the card in case there's an emergency with your child. We have to be able to uh, call you and be able to ask for your advice on how to proceed if your child has an emergency. This, this year we're having free lunch and free breakfast for all students. Breakfast is from 7.50 to 8.10, and uh, lunch is a hot lunch. So uh, you don't have to send in monies any longer. I'm happy that it's free breakfast, free lunch for all, very important. Arrival at the school is something that we take a lot of time to make sure all the children are safe. Do not leave your child at the front of the school buildings before 7.50. Sometimes people do that thinking that we have coverage and there are people outside watching your children. That is not so. There are no staff outside the buildings before 7.50. Do not leave your child there. They'll be there alone. You must stay with your child until the school doors open at 7.50. I want to mention something that's very important to me. It's about attendance. We want all of our students to attend school as frequent as they can. We're hoping everybody's healthy, they can come to school every day. As a matter of fact, at our school, we're at 94% attendance rate, and we want to keep that high number. So we're hoping that your child comes to school all year long, that you plan your vacations during the holiday times or recess times of the school, because we don't want your child to miss any instruction. And also, very important, it was our goal for this year, that all children arrive on time, which means by 8.20 in the morning. Um, we worked really hard on that because we know that when children come to school late, it's hard for them to understand what's going on in the classroom, and it impacts all of the other children in the class. So, and it makes it very difficult for the teachers to instruct your child. Our goals this year will be encouraging all of our students, including our students who are limited in English, to be part of the everyday conversations and discussions in the classrooms. So our teachers are going to be learning different protocols, strategies that will encourage participation of all students every day. We're excited about that. And that means that we're going to continue with our goal from last year, where our children learn the academic language that goes along with that. Real important. The other thing we're working on is to have our students learn how to communicate and interact with one another more appropriately. So we have a special program called Sanford Harmony coming into our school to work with us to teach our children how to respond 
For example, if, if somebody bumps into them, how to react so that they will get along better. We're going to be reinforcing our peer mediation program so that our children can resolve their own conflicts. It's real important for us. And for our parents, for all of you, we want to encourage you to be part of the professional development that we will be having at our school. We're going to increase the number of frequencies of having workshops for you. So please come back and be part of our workshops, our morning workshops. We'll be having some on Tuesday afternoons as well. Be part of that. It will be a great way to be, be included in the school community. There may be times you feel a need to reach me. And sometimes that becomes a little bit difficult. But the best way to reach me is to call my parent coordinator. That's Barbara Mayer Hopkins. And her telephone number is 347-563-8692. Call her, share with her whatever it is you may want to discuss, and she will make sure that she tells me what you have shared. Now, in the mornings, you'll find Mr. Seforza in the annex. So if you have a child in kindergarten, first or second grade, he's there. So if you have any questions, you may feel free to come and talk to him. And in the main building, Ms. Trujillo will be here. So if they're not available, uh, you can always see our parent coordinator. Now, there may be times when you have questions for your teacher, your child's teacher. Please do not ask them questions at dismissal time at the doors. That's a really unsafe circumstance. We don't want to put our children in harm's way. So if you have a question for the teacher, either you write them or um, you set up an appointment on Tuesdays. Teachers are available from 2.45 to 2. Uh, 355 on Tuesday afternoons for parent meetings. So that's the time to talk to your child's teacher. And if you have to change the way you want your child to go home, uh, you must put that in writing. Please don't call the school to say, oh, I'm going to be uh, asking you not to put my child on the bus. We cannot accommodate you unless you put it in writing. It's really, really important. Some parents prefer to have a private bus company or a private program pick up their children. You need to complete the two forms that go with that. But remember, it will be that company or the private bus company, uh, the program, whichever you pr prefer. That means that you are saying that they are taking on the responsibility. Once we release the child, to the program or the company, they become responsible for your child. We are not endorsing any program or any bus company. Dismissal is going to be very difficult this year, more so than ever, because the school will be under construction. The main building will be under construction. There will be scaffold around the entire main building, as well as containers out on Kew Gardens Road, which will block your ability to park a car on Kew Gardens Road if you're picking up a child in the main building. So that means you should leave your car home if you can and walk to the school and leave yourself plenty of time because it's going to be very, very busy at dismissal. One other item. The principal is allowed one fundraiser. And at this time, starting today, there is a fundraiser. We call it the candy sale, but actually more items are sold other than just candy. You'll get a brochure. If you can purchase one item, it would benefit the school because the school gets a percentage of the proceeds and it helps us at the school. You may not realize that our school motto is two buildings, one heart, which means that all of the people that are involved in making this one community, our parents, our teachers, our students, all of the staff members come together to make 99 the very special place that it is. And because 
all of us work so hard to make it a place where children want to learn, our children do very well. So I thank you for being part of that community and I encourage you to continue to participate and be there every day for your child so that we all can be successful in meeting all of your child's needs. I think you're going to love what's coming forth this year. A lot of great things in our Parent Association's after school program, a lot of new activities. I think it's gonna be a great year for your child. Um, so looking forward to seeing you later in the year at one of our special events. Have a great day.